Jose and Maria Kibuloy arrived in Davao in 1948, a few years after the war. They settled in a place which Maria considered in the middle of nowhere. The Mayo was far away from everything familiar to her. People spoke in a language that she could not understand. There were only a few houses around the vicinity. There was nothing but forest everywhere. Maria could not understand why her husband brought her and her eight growing children to Mindanao. Why they had to leave their comfortable life in a farm in Santa Catalina, Lubao, Pampanga to start anew from nothing in a forsaken sitio at the foothills of Mount Apo. Why? She asked herself over and over again. Why here? Why Tamayo? With Maria were her eight children. Helen, Leonardo, Flora, Emilio, Brilla, Jose, Wilma, and Columbia whom she thought would be her last child. She never thought that in this land far from civilization, she would have one more, the only one to be born in their newfound home. The birth was not easy. On the midnight of April 25, 1950, Maria delivered her youngest child, a boy who would live a life of destiny. I heard that story that my mother saw a vision while she was giving birth to me, that she saw God on a cloud and she heard a voice, and the voice she heard said to her, that's my son. That was in 1950. 
So I heard that story while I was growing up. Did not mind it. Did not get interested in it. I was just puzzled. My mother was, my father was. And while growing up, I heard the story being talked on the table and within our family circle over and over again. I did not know I was chosen and called for this ministry today. And that is how the Father orchestrates His calling upon those whom He has chosen for a certain ministry. Now with a child in her arms, while reveling in that extraordinary vision she saw on the night of His birth, And while staring at the mountain that watched over them daily like a giant, she named her son. Apollo means son of the father. There was always something extraordinary about the boy Apollo. He was meticulously clean, different from other boys. As a child, he would not go out of the house without wearing his wooden clogs. would never play with children without sending them home to take a bath first. As a boy, Apollo was close to his mother who taught him the values of dignity, hard work, discipline, and honesty. Ang taong tamad ay hindi papakainin ng Panginoon. Naalala mo ba ang mga langgam? Araw-araw gumagawa sila, nag-iimbak ng pagkain sa panahon ng tag-init. Upang, pagdating ng mga araw ng tag-ulan, sila'y handa na at ligtas sa pangamba. Even in his trying years, when Apollo was persecuted by his family and friends, Maria or Sika, as she was called by all, stood by him. She knew in her heart that what she saw wasn't revealed for nothing. Apollo was a dreamer. He wanted to be a pilot. He grew up imagining himself piloting a great big aircraft. Little did he know that one day, he would steer more than an aircraft, he would steer the whole of humanity to spiritual freedom. 